What up, good people? Today we're gonna talk about the best cars of 2022. Let's get into this video. Auto speed. The first run up is the Kia Forte, coming in at $20,000, and guess what? It goes up from there, cause you got all kinds of trim levels. You got the LX, the LXS with the GT lineup alongside the GT. Man, I like the GT um, Kia Forte because the GT uh, Kia Forte looks nice. The GT Forte looking very aggressive coming down the road because when I seen it, I drove it. I'm like, yo, hold on. That Forte looking right. I ain't gonna say a lie. I thought about getting the Forte uh, way back when, but I was like, uh, it's, it's a Kia. I don't really want to deal with that. But yeah. Man, I might have to trade in the Jim Cooper uh, Kia Forte GT. I ain't gonna say like the exterior looks nice because you got the red uh, accents throughout the vehicle. Even the, in the interior, you got the red accents throughout the vehicle. And I'm like, yo, hold on, hold on, yo, is is this a Kia Forte, man? And it comes standard with an eight-inch touchscreen display with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Also, you have your wireless charging pad in the vehicle, and I'm like, yo, hold on, hold on, that that the Elantra Sport don't have a wireless charging pad. And guess what? The other feature it comes with, it comes with heated and cool seats. And I'm like, yo, I'm I'm really comparing it to the Gen Coupe and the Elantra Sport, and I'm like, yo. The Gen Coupe don't got heated and cool seats. The Gen Coupe got heated seats, but it don't got cool seats. Um, the Elantra got heated seats, but not cool seats. I'm like, come on, come, who, God darn it, who, who thought about putting cool seats in the uh, the uh, Forte? So I'm thinking about trading in the Gen Coupe. Nah, I'm lying. But I drove it, but I have not did a car review on the um, Kia Forte. But guess what? It will be coming to the channel this year. I'm gonna make sure of that. But yeah, welcome Kia. Welcome back into the lineup. The next runup is the Honda Civic coming in at $27,000. And guess what? It goes up from there because it comes in all kinds of trend level. Me personally, my favorite personal one is the Type R. Man, the Type R looked nice. I'm not going to say in line. I kind of like last year body shot, but hey, this year body shot is starting to grow on me. When I seen the Honda Civic, I said, yo, is that a Volkswagen or is that an Audi? Man. I'm not gonna say in line. I was kind of surprised when they did the redesign of the Honda Civic. I was like, yo, that is nice. Even the SI look way nicer than the previous model. Like I told you, I kind of like the last year model, but this year model is starting to grow me a little bit better than last year model. I'm like, all right, cool. I can see why they redesigned the uh, Honda Civic. The Honda Civic Type R is pushing out 315 and it's a four banger. I'm like, yo, hold on, hold on. That four banger pushing out 315? Yeah, don't worry. Which one you want to line up? You want to line up the Gen Coupe or the uh, the uh, Honda Elantra? Man, matter of fact, the Gen Coupe ain't going to waste his time on that. The, the Elantra got it. But the Honda Civic is a practical four-door sedan and it's practical because guess what? You can drive the rocket to the wheels fall off because it's a Honda and it's very reliable. The Honda Civic is rated number one in American best class of reliability vehicle. And I'm like, yo, hold on. Well, you know, it's a Honda. You can throw 300,000 miles on it and still riding around getting it. Still get top dollar for your uh, trade in. And even if you got 300,000 miles, you're like, yo, we'll still give you 10,000 for that car because I know it's still good. And you looking like, yo, hold on, cool. The next run up is the Genesis G70. Man, I like it. I love the vehicle. I love the way it look. Man, it looks sporty and luxury at the same time. And guess what? Your boy got a Genesis Coupe and I'm like, yo, yo. People still, it's controversy up to this day. And they say, oh, no, that's a Honda. And I'm like, no, that's a Genesis right there. Genesis Coupe. You know what I'm saying? That is a Genesis Coupe. Don't, don't, don't you do that. Don't, Genesis Coupe, all right? Not Hyundai Genesis Coupe, is the Genesis Coupe. They took the Hyundai off and called it the Coupe. But I like the Genesis G80, it looks sporty. I ain't gonna say a lie. Man, if you get the 3.3 liter turbo charge and it, woo, man. It's pushing out some serious horses for a uh, V6. But, um. My sister, her uh, husband got a Genesis G70 and I did a car review on the Genesis G70 and I'm like, yo, hold on. 
When I got in it, I was kind of amazed. I was blown away. And I love the redesign of the Genesis G70 because it looks very more sporty and that much luxury. Yeah, the Genesis G70 is pushing out 368 horses and that's a 3.3 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine. And I'm like, yo, man, hold on, hold on, hold on. I may trade in the Gen Coupe just for that one. I seen it, but Man, I ain't gonna send line. The price is up there, but I might have to take that uh, chance and trade in the Gen Coupe just for the uh, G70. It's practical and it is a four door sedan. So if you and your friends want to ride around getting it, you can't say, hey, look, th this one, this, yeah, it's not really for a uh, family vehicle, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can tell me, yo, get in the car, and we're about to ride around getting it because it's a four-door sedan. It's pretty uh, spacious when I get in there. I'm like, all right, all right cool. Long you don't bring the seat all the way back. Long you're not sitting behind a six-foot. Yeah, because you're sitting behind a six-footer. Yeah, you. that's for legless passengers. I ain't going to say in front. But the Genesis G70 is a nice vehicle overall, and it's rated number one. Yes, rated number one in safety up to this day. Man. I ain't gonna say a lot. I like the Genesis G70. Uh, Man, welcome Genesis. Welcome to the lineup. The next run up is the Hyundai Ionic 5 coming in at $39,000 and guess what? It goes up from there because it comes in different trim levels and I'm not gonna say a lot. I did a car review on it and I can't wait to uh, display it to you guys. Man, man, that uh, Ionic 5 is pretty nice. It's their, um, it's Hyundai fully electric vehicle and I was like, yo, Hold on. The doors pop open when the key fob is detected in your pocket. It pops open like that. Boom. And it's the um the door frames is pretty flush. So it's like, you know, like a Tesla type deal. As it as in the door is just boom. And then when you're ready for the doors to come out, it just pop open like that. Boom. I like the Hyundai Ioniq 5. It's pretty nice of a vehicle. I'm not gonna say in line. It's fully electric. I drove it and man, that instant torque throw you back in the seat. And I was like, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. This 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 is a Hyundai and it's driving like that. And guess what? When you drive it, you're gonna fall in love with it. But yes, I seen it. Certain things is a little bit controversial for me. I'm not gonna say a lie. I don't like the uh, tail lights, but I love the headlights because they're a little square. And I'm like, okay, cool. I like that. And the Hyundai Ionic 5 is pretty spacious. And yeah, on the Hyundai Ionic 5, it's a 303 on a single charge mile. And I'm like, yo, hold on. On the highway, 98 miles. And on the city, 132 miles, a combined of 200 miles. Yo, yo, I'm like, yo, I'm going to ride around getting in an electric vehicle. Shoot, guess what? Forget gas. I got a Hyundai Ioniq 5. I seen it. I love it. Yeah, like I said, I did a car review on it, and it will be coming to the channel very soon. But, yeah, Hyundai, welcome back into the lineup. Last but not least is the Kia EV6. I know you probably was like, yo, he just talked about the uh, Ionic 5. How are you going to bring the uh, EV6 with the Ionic 5? Man, the EV6 is a little bit different beast. I'm not going to say in lie. I kind of like the uh, EV6. I love the design of the EV6. Man, the EV6 looks a little bit more sportier than the Ionic 5. But to me, yes, I ain't going to say in front. The Kia EV6 will be the ultimate champion of the electric family and all the electric vehicles because, man, it got the design, it got the speed, and the only thing, the only downfall it has, it don't have the great range. The total range for the GT is 206. Only thing Kia gotta say, yo, Hyundai, let me get the, uh, let me get that Ionic 6 on um, battery because they get the um, battery range up there, man. You got a beast of a vehicle, and it's coming from a Kia lineup. Man, because the Kia EV6 is pushing out 575. So it's pushing out 575 horses. And that, man, I'm not going to say a lie. I drove the uh, Kia EV6, but I didn't drive the GT. I drove the Win, but, man, I ain't going to say a lie. The Win, when I put it in sport mode, I said, yo, hold on. That threw me back. I was like, okay, okay. So I already know that if, uh, if I drive the GT, I'm like, yo, 
I'm about to be in love. You may see the GT come to the channel. I'm like, yo, out of speed, what happened? You, I'm like, yo, I got rid of both vehicles for the EV6 GT. I ain't gonna say a lie. But they gotta fix the total range because 206, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. The launch will get 400 mile on a full tank of gas. And, and the Genesis get like 350, maybe 300 on a full tank of gas. I ain't, I ain't gonna say a lie. So I'm, I'm, I be going down in mileage. I'm, a, uh, you know, the range. I'm like, yo, I ain't gonna say a lie, cause I'm gonna be passing everything besides the lecture on um, station. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be like, up, oh, time to charge again. God, dang, shoot, he ain't got a drinking problem. He got a surge problem. You know, he, he just wanna. You know, we, we might, he might be a, a a leech sucking up all that juice like that. But the Kia EV6 is a nice vehicle. I'm not gonna say and lie. I love the way the design of the Kia EV6 is inside. It gives that futuristic and it comes standard with a 10.25 inch touchscreen display with a 12.4 inch cluster gauge. I'm not gonna say and lie. Digital and I'm like, yo. Hold on, I, I I I like this, I like this, and and the curve, woo, it's nice. As you know, I did a car review on the Kia EV6, so I will leave that link in the description below. But if you're enjoying this video, go to smash that thumbs up button. If you're not part of our speed fam, go ahead and subscribe button. Yo, welcome to the family. I look forward to seeing you next video.